world at my feet. I have accomplished my object, was but Kurt Bellerin's struggling boast. Once the monarch arrays in my position, or I will have the world at my feet. In an improvised laboratory, deep the heart of the South American jungle, so much to do yet, and so little time still. I haven't given up, but now not not now, not when I'm worked so long and so hard. But these headaches getting worse all the time. I've got to step up my schedule, push along, best I could do before it's too late. At the, this same moment in a distant modern laboratory back in the States, funny how I keep missing thinking of old Dr. Peters these days. Why, he, he ever left the institute for that jungle lab? Please, I'll never know. Could be one of his secrecy. I suspect he was on sort of something big. A client agree, old Peter. Old Peters was the most brilliant man amongst us. He wouldn't choose a 2 g as a jungle without good cause. Right. You, you are, but I wonder what that could be. Something I suspect that could see this world of ours back on its heels. Peters hinted at it before he left for South Africa, America. He said in two years he'd be the world's most talked of man. Or his greatest fall. I think it'd be the former. This could be right, this could be right about Peters. Perhaps he is the threshold of something big. Not only would he have gone off in the jungle certainly it is worth looking into. From that moment, Kurt Belain worked swiftly, fraining ill health. He secured a leave of absence from his duties institute. In less than a month, he arrived in Okokara, a small river station, along the steaming jungle lemmas of river. Always in readiness in here, Baladan. The porters will take you to the interior and to your destination. Excellent. And the treacherous jungle... Put the Nellie's nerves on edge. It can't be much further. For the information I stole from the Institute's confidential file, put up to pieces. Should be in this facility. Look, look. That's it. I recognise it from the photograph in the pit in the files. A meeting took place. A pleasure to see you, Berlin. Bale- I had no idea the Institute was sending you down. I'm glad you're here, very glad. We're getting a bit worried, all of us. I had some vacation coming to me. I wanted the director asked me to look in on you. Since I would be since I be in Brazil, I said I would. But as they started towards the house, you're feeling all right, Dr. Peters? Two years of tropical heat does things to a man of my eight years. And I'm glad you're here, Bellini. Bellini. I have something important to show you, very important. That was the following morning that Kurt Berlin first laid eyes upon Dr. Peter's strange machine. What is it? I call it a monocle ray, most outstanding achievement of my career. But suppose I give you a simple demonstration. Placing a small steel cube into position, Dr. Ray Peter has now directed the ray upon the, from his machine upon his object. Am I correct? But isn't that cube undergoing change? Yes, molecule change, never before accomplished by anyone. Seconds later, good heavens, the cube is as now transparent as clear as glass, but it will show, still retains the toughness of steel. My way, as we shove the molecules in the cube, changing in basic quality opacity to that of transparency. In other words, the exact opposite of its former self. Then the next demonstration involved a fresh, fragrant flower of great beauty. Now watch the flower closely, Baleline. First, my rage bombards it. Now look. He turned it into dried weed, exact opposite, and right before my eyes. Briefly, Dr. Peters summed up his case. Now you, you can well appreciate my reason for secrecy. A ray which can change a substance into opposite state could be a powerful weapon in the wrong hands. Imagine a machine that could be turned stone to liquid, liquid stone. Yes, indeed. That's why I'm glad. Oh, Dr. Peters, what is it? My heart knew it was going. That's why I'm glad you're here. You'll bring my ray back to the States. I can promise you, Berlin. Promise. 
Of course, old friend. Trust me to follow you, which exactly? Then the old doctor would brief his will, his mind, all mine to do with as I, as I wish. Imagine the power I will bring me, a machine that can change objects to the opposite state, it could turn oceans into stone, false to the natures of the world, to set me with their supreme ruler and bring havoc upon them. Swiftly, Berlin proceeded with his plans. I burn all of Dr. Peter's notes, so let no trace of his ray will ever be found or his machine duplicated. Finally, as he prepared to leave, his going it, it, in it goes the key to the bold power. But in a few a few months, I will have the world at my feet. Following day, the Hadassah's strenuous trek back began almost from the start. Belaine's tense nerves showed signs of giving way. Faster, he scrambles faster. But my people fatigue. The packs are heavy. It would give them a chance to rest. Time enough when we make camp for the night. Amen. Taking taking time out, will be left behind and without food. Several days later, when the storm broke. The current so quiet that it's gone. My porters have run off during the night. They ran me. Oh, he went on. He went to by himself. The lust for power driving him ever forward onward. I'll make it. Nothing will stop me. Suddenly, I hear sounds coming from behind me. It sounds like people get coming closer. The only humans in this facility are savages. I can't let them take me. But as the night next instant emerging. For the brush of directly for him. No, 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 wait, don't shoot. Slowly, natives emerged, inching, for, inching forward, regarding Berlin with sloth, awe, and curiosity. You aren't too sure about me. Probably never saw a white man before. I perhaps, if I play to the native natures, I may have a chance. Quickly he withdrew his cigarette lighter. Look at their eyes sparkle, just like children. The course he simulated, the natives became bolder. Got to get them, keep them off, getting too curious. Wait, hold on, don't touch that. Give it back, I'll give you anything else, anything. His power is pointing at me, his fingers on the switch. The fool, don't, doesn't he realise, no, no, yeah. Several months later at an institute. Too bad about old Peter's, Dr. Peter's death. The search party didn't find a trace of its scientific importance. Not even a big page of notes. Maybe there it wasn't anything. It may have been off his rocker, you know. Quite right. Brilliant mind and all wasting away in that jungle heat. Such a sheer waste. Perhaps it was a sheer waste. Considering the dismal, unrewarding end that Dr. Peter's great discovery had come to. But then nothing is ever a true to loss. Periodically, when the moon is full, a strange procession wheels its way through the Brazilian jungle. At the appointed spot, they come to halt and place their offerings of fruits and flowers on the ground before them. Alegro, Horus, Bororo. To those, these simple childlike people, they have brought gifts to the greatest magic uh, maker they have been beheld. But like children, they misinterpret the facts. But magic had not preserved him. How could they know that for that molecule ray had petrified it? Cut had Berlin's body in a kind of frozen stone, exact opposite of living tissue. And when you know, his wish was granted for a man who wanted a world at his feet. He had, in a small way, succeeded.